guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video dry skin do you suffer from dry skin we all know that dry skin is very uncomfortable and often people just struggle with what to use on the skin now today we are gonna treat dry skin I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do to keep your skin just moisturized soft supple and basically radiant and glowing so if you're interested in today's video continue watching now for our facial scrub the first ingredient is rice and I'm using rice because rice is going to be blended to a fine powder making the granule very very fine which is perfect for your dry skin if you have dry skin you do not need to use a facial scrub where the granules are too large now with the rice it's going to blend nicely really fine powdery granules which is best for dry skin now rice is loaded with minerals and vitamins that are great for skin overall it's filled with nutrients that's going to help to tighten your skin it's also going to help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines now this combination is going to help to get rid of your dry skin while toning firming just basically making your skin beautiful and supple our next ingredient is aloe vera and this is fresh aloe vera leaf now aloe vera is very very moisturizing but not only is it moisturizing but it's also great for clearing the skin of any form of blemishes and spots it is good for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines now using aloe vera on your dry skin is going to do a number on your skin because it's going to help to plump your skin it's going to help to moisturize the skin just getting deep in those pores it's going to also get rid of any form of bacteria on the skin since it has antibacterial properties so aloe vera is a wonderful ingredient for dry skin now if you do not have access to fresh aloe leaf not to worry the aloe vera gel store bought is just as good make sure to get 100% pure and natural aloe vera gel our next ingredient is honey and honey is a wonderful ingredient for dry skin and it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties and it can be used as a moisturizer for dry skin it is also great to use in any of your facial mask or your facial scrub once you have dry skin you could use it to enhance any regular facial scrub or facial mask by putting a teaspoon in it today i'm using it to further help to boost the moisturizing properties in this for this facial scrub i'm going to recommend three oils so it's olive oil coconut oil and almond oil and any one of this is wonderful for dry skin you can also choose to mix two of these oils together just play around with these oils because they're very very moisturizing and they're gonna keep your skin just soft and supple in this recipe today I'm gonna be using olive oil now the first thing I'm gonna do for the scrub is to blend the rice and here I have some rice which I already blend and take a look at it up close you could see how powdery how fine these granules are and this is exactly how you want to blend your rice blend it to a fine granules okay so that is for the rice and now we're gonna move on to our aloe vera I'm gonna extract the aloe vera gel now if you have the store-bought just skip this process obviously right so I'm just gonna take about a ounce or two make sure you have fresh gel like I'm showing you here now to extract the gel is pretty easy I actually like doing this so I'm just gonna cut both sides like this just cut the sides and once that's done you just take your knife and go right under the upper skin take that out just toss that and then you do the same to the bottom you just go right under with your knife 
and voila now here is the aloe vera gel and now I'm gonna blend do not add any water to this just blend as is and here we have our fresh aloe vera gel now to make the facial scrub I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of the blended rice if you want to make more double up on the ingredient and this is gonna be good for about two times for halo gel I'm using two tablespoons of our halo gel one teaspoon of olive oil And I'm gonna use one teaspoon of our honey. And now we have all the ingredients together. We're just gonna blend well. Now you do not want it to be too watery. You just want it to be scrub consistency. So just mix this in. Make sure to blend well to get the honey to blend into the other ingredient. Wow, this is really nice. And here you have it. This is your facial scrub for dry skin. Now this moisturizer is not only good for dry skin, but is also gonna have to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines on your skin. It's gonna lift your skin. It is basically an anti-aging facial moisturizer that is good for dry skin. Now the first ingredient is gonna be carrot butter. You can also choose to use carrot oil. And I'm using carrot oil because it is loaded with retinol, which is vitamin A, which is great for your skin, for tightening, toning, and for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. I'm also going to be using some vitamin E oil in this recipe. And vitamin E oil is another wonderful oil that is good for dry skin. As a matter of fact, it is great for all skin type. It is also very moisturizing, loaded with a lot of nutrients trends and minerals that is gonna have your skin looking just younger and radiant now I also have two oils here you can choose to use one or the other or you can choose to use both as a matter of fact any of these two oils you can use directly on your skin if you have dry skin and this is the over oil and we also have the rose oil now both these oils are wonderful for dry skin you can use them directly on the skin or you could blend them with other oils like I'm doing today. They are both loaded with antioxidants and minerals which is going to have your skin just soft, smooth and also lift, tone, just basically young, fresh, radiant looking ones you use on a regular. And these are the four ingredients for our anti-aging facial moisturizer which is great for dry skin now for this facial oil I'm making about a week supply if you want to make more just double up on the ingredient the first ingredient is my over oil and I'm using one teaspoon of over oil next oil is rose oil and I'm using one teaspoon of rose oil Moving on to our vitamin E oil, I'm using a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And my vitamin E oil is 5000 IU. And for our carrot butter, I'm going to use a teaspoon of carrot butter. If you're using carrot oil, go ahead and use one teaspoon also. And now I'm just going to blend this together. Now this is going to be more like a serum since the butter from the carrot seed is just going to melt into the rose oil and the over oil just blend into a perfect moisturizer for your skin. Now like I said before anyone can use this 
facial moisturizer it is a perfect anti-aging facial moisturizer you can also go ahead and put a little vegetable glycerine in this moisturizer and here you have it this is your powerful anti-aging moisturizer for dry skin now to store this you're just going to choose a little jar you could use any of your old facial bottle wash sterilize and pour this in it now I said this is a week supply however I'm sure this could last longer since a little goes a long way so now I'm going to put the two together to show you how to use it on your skin for best result so here are the two together we have our facial scrub which is very moisturizing which is going to exfoliate the skin to get rid of all the flakiness all the grease and dirt from your skin while leaving your skin fully moisturized and here we have the moisturizer which is going to moisturize your skin it's going to have your skin just soft supple and fully hydrated okay and now i'm going to show you how to use your wonderful scrub and your wonderful moisturizer to get rid of your dry skin now as i said before if you do not have dry skin do not be left out this is good for most skin type now let's go over on the other side and do some exfoliating and moisturizing now to use this facial scrub you're gonna wash your face the way you normally do before you apply the facial scrub now make sure whatever you're using to cleanse your face it's not gonna dry your skin out now after washing your face and I suggest that you wash your face with lukewarm water to begin and end with cold water not hot water just room temperature water or what I consider lukewarm barely warm so now that your face is totally washed and clean you're gonna reach for your facial scrub so you're gonna take a little in your hands to begin with rub it in your hands and then exfoliate the skin with it so just exfoliate your skin in a circular motion this is very moisturizing and just by applying it to the skin I could feel it it's not dry at all just exfoliate about three minutes your entire face don't be afraid to pass this over your lips your nose get rid of all those dry flaky skin your forehead don't let this granule get in your eyes but you could go under the eyes wow nice check that out nice. now after exfoliating you're gonna rinse this off and rinse off with room temperature water after you rinse off then you're gonna move on to using the facial moisturizer so I'm gonna rinse this off and I come back and show you how to use the facial moisturizer now to store the scrub you can store it in the refrigerator because of the fresh aloe vera now do not throw the leftover aloe vera gel out because what is gonna happen when you store the scrub the rice is gonna absorb all of the liquid and it's gonna be a little dry to use the scrub just take a little bit more of the aloe vera gel add it mix it in to soften it and use it so keep the leftover aloe vera gel if you're gonna store the scrub if not just make enough to use one time okay now after rinsing your skin your skin is now ready for your moisturizer now you're gonna take a little bit of the moisturizer you do not need a lot it is strong enough a little goes a long way you're gonna apply it to your skin and then you're gonna massage it into the skin you are gonna massage your moisturizer in your skin in a circular motion like I'm showing here now this moisturizer is also great to use under the eyes and above the eyes okay so use it on your entire face but just make sure to massage it gentle in the skin and don't forget your neck and your decollete area now once that is done you are good to go you're not gonna rinse this off you can wear this on your skin until your next 
face washing. Now wear this moisturizer at least twice per day for best result. Now using this combination on your skin is really and truly going to help you to get rid of that dry skin. Now a wonderful thing you can do also is that most people with dry face and neck and decollete also have the rest of their body dry. Get your regular store bought lotion, make a batch of this, pour it in your lotion, blend it together and use it on your entire body also for your facial scrub you can use this on your body just double up on the ingredient now use this for a week or two come back and comment and let me know how well this works so for there you have it i hope you give this a try and i hope this will help to get rid of your dry skin now if this was your first time watching you want to see more of these videos look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also if you have already subscribed and you want to get a notification as soon as i upload a video just click the little bell beside the word subscribe and guess what the notification will get to you as soon as i post a video thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye